I'm in Fort Worth, Texas today, 76116, visiting this uh, potential customer. They filled out a online subscription, <clears throat> sorry, online form requesting an estimate. And they sent in some pictures and I was really concerned and, and I didn't want to take on this loan unless I thought we could help them. And so today it's uh, mid-October 2022. We've had a lot of drought this summer and we're currently still in the drought. And I'm out here checking this out. So, uh, and, and I've already uh, I've already gone over the yard. I just grabbed my phone and uh, shoot this quick video. So, a, a, a couple concerns would be the uh, St. Augustine is not going to withstand a lot of foot traffic. And when I, when I do a lawn analysis and I come up and I see um, like a baseball bat and toys and you know a bunch of dogs running around, so St. Augustine is not going to be able to withstand that kind of um the wear and tear so a, a better solution would be bermuda i'm guessing that's why you're seeing bermuda that's kind of filled in here maybe this was uh saint augustine at one time and uh for whatever reason over the years that it, this, this is now bermuda i don't know that this is the first day i've seen this property um and then some areas are just going to be too shaded for for saint augustine to grow and then you, we have some problem areas here. So I've, I've done a bunch of soil moisture probe tests all, uh, throughout the property and I'm getting varying depths of moisture. So in parts of the lawn, I'm getting almost no moisture, maybe one to two inches. And then I'll pull a probe and I'll get six to eight inches of moisture. And so I, I believe this to be uh, inconsistent water, drought conditions, of course. And I'm also seeing some St. Augustine decline. So I'll uh, post some pictures of that, uh, pictures from this property. And I'm seeing it in, in this area here, throughout here. And then the solution to that would be just to uh, fill in some Raleigh St. Augustine, plug it in. And then because Raleigh is resistant to St. Augustine decline, I don't know what kind of St. Augustine they have here, but just plugging in some Raleigh here would would cure that or bermuda grass. i personally they should go with bermuda so these trees here you're not going to grow bermuda under there you're probably not going to grow st augustine under here either so i would turn this into a uh, flower bed maybe put some crushed granite in in there something that doesn't require sun or water that's what i would do um you're probably forced to be have to have st augustine through here in the shade Again, St. Augustine is a full sun grass that tolerates some shade. Of the full sun grasses, uh, St. Augustine tolerates the most shade, but it is not a shade grass. So going over here, your yard looks um, better in some areas. Right here is a trouble spot. Now, I, I don't know what's going on here, really. I'd have to ask the homeowner. Without looking at it, I can see that there was a tree here and the stump wasn't ground down and and i that lets me know that there's still some roots underground so one thing this could be is it could be hydrophobic soil so whenever you get a uh, fairy ring it can cause hydrophobic soil i'm not sure that that's it it, it could be that maybe the homeowner sprayed something in here like it's gonna help decompose the roots faster or sprayed the uh the trunk was something i don't know that could be that and just ran down and killed off an area um but who, who knows but it could be hydrophobic soil that is a scenario it's, it's pretty ra it's rare the solution to that would be to apply a wetting agent a couple times until you fix the problem not a big deal something like aerate which is has wetting agent in it would work and th that would be a good one you could use whatever you want you could use dish soap if you wanted uh, going through here just I, I believe it to be inconsistent water like i said so we went through a major drought and these areas are going to have to be replaced personally i would have bermuda on that side of the yard and i would have my saint augustine here i would want to reduce my foot traffic on the saint augustine as much as i could um uh, bermuda will withstand a lot more wear and tear than saint augustine will so that'd be a solution for here as we as we move over here artificial grass that'd be a great choice great choice for uh playing on 
over here, too shaded for grass. Let's work our way to the front yard. So as I'm coming through this gate, I've noticed the tops of these trash cans have a shiny substance on there. Get a little closer. And they stink really bad as trash cans do. That that residue is from aphids. So I know they have aphids somewhere. And aphids can cause you to get other insects like ants. Because ants love this honeydew it's very sweet and it can attract ants so you don't want ants in your house take care of the aphids outside you won't have a problem and here's here's probably the culprit here this crepe myrtle so we we can prevent aphids on crepe myrtles we have a program for that it's a once a year treatment um, what we do is we put cortex tablets in the root zone of the tree and then it takes a few months for it to get absorbed into the tree and then you should get any definitely over a year control because it's slow release um have a good luck with that so here i'm not gonna probably not gonna be able to grow grass here um, this might be a walkway it's it's in shade so you might grow st augustine there but with any kind of walking back and forth in this area it's it's not going to be able to withstand the walking on it so i'm guessing that's why this has never turned out to be anything good here um as we move to the front they got bermuda down here it's just common common bermuda and the dry this is all dry here and then in the front yard the front yard looks the best but uh, it's very dry the, the uh, pulling out plugs here like i pull a pull a plug here and i can maybe get an inch and it's super dry almost no moisture and then up in here uh, i get a little bit better a little bit better moisture depth and looks like they're hand watering trying to supplement their irrigation system if they, if they have one if they don't have one i can understand why it's such a challenge and why some areas have six to eight inches of moisture and some don't they are showing signs of, of getting brown patch as well so that was, so some of the you may not see i'll see it on camera but you're seeing some uh, right here some yellowing of the leaves those are going that's going to turn into brown patch though well, i mean it's already brown patch you just it's going to start to form circles pretty soon and that's what that's going to look like so here i'm just guessing it, you know drought stress through here very common especially areas like this um, i have the same problem at my house i uh, my sprinklers don't cover well and uh, i'm guessing that's what that is very common to see dead grass on the corners or along the road you look across the street here they have the same problem their sprinklers probably don't cover there i'm uh, moving to this side again this looks very dry and and mostly shaded so i could maybe grow saint augustine in this area maybe depending on how much east sun they get um this way that way is west and so they would be getting uh, from they come down from here and they would get some east sun some morning sun so if you're if you're a little shaded it it would be better for you to get west sun than east sun i'm moving back over here again this is too shaded for grass definitely over here you look up that's what we got so i i wouldn't try to grow grass here i'd have crushed granite or some sort of shade tolerant plants i would not try to grow anything really i mean you could grow ace jasmine i don't know i wouldn't try to grow it up next to the house because you might get some uh, it might cause you some insect problems some rodent problems so for me it would be crushed granite and boulders or rocks or something something like that something i don't need water or sunlight for um, these boxwoods look fine but most of those are pretty indestructible so for this property it's gonna take a lot of work from the homeowner um, they're gonna have to uh, dial in their irrigation and make sure that they get consistent water for the uh, st augustine decline they're gonna need to plug in some uh, raleigh st augustine in areas where they want to grow st augustine 
but I, I, I would go with Bermuda um, on their on the other half of their yard where they're getting full sun and then just making sure it's watered properly. Uh, a fertilization and weed control program won't help this if the cultural practices aren't changed. You could expect it to be about like this if cultural practices aren't changed uh, a lot. But but with cultural, uh, excuse me, with cultural practice changes, this yard could look really good. Um, and like again, over, like we'll just go over it again, planting gra the proper grass in the backyard, watching how much foot traffic you have, making sure it's watered and mowed properly. And those things are go a long way. But I can't stress enough how important cultural practices are because um, without that, I would not recommend a fertilization weed control program for this property. It won't change it much. The only thing it's going to change is improving the cultural practices. We don't have access to any type of magical fertilizer that's going to help grass grow here in the shade or um, or fill in these areas that aren't getting enough water. If they're not getting enough water, uh, fertilizer is not going to help. So if you have any questions, stay tuned. I will continue to do these lawn analysis in the Fort Worth area. And if you have any questions, give the office a call at 817-447-7711. If you would like an estimate, go to uglyweeds.com. You can request an estimate online there. If you need a watering guide, you can go to the resources tab and there's a watering guide there. And uh, I look forward to seeing you and stay tuned for more lawn analysis, live action from Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks.